Welcome Sagittarius and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 28th of June through to Sunday the 4th of July 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and the cards I'll be using for your main love message and on the right um, will be your crowning wisdom messages. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's go ahead and take a look at what your overall crowning message is for this week. Okay, my angels and spirit guides <clears throat> of the, thank you. Okay, so we have action. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does the twin flames of Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising? Thank you. We have new direction. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Please, can you tell me the final crowning message? to the question, how does the, thank you, and we have pause. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, female uh, divine feminine energy coming in for you, um, Sagittarius. All right, let's have a look at our crowning wisdom messages before we do a deep dive into your messages. Okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question, how does the, thank you. So we have 1221. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. And we have 999. And one more card, please, for our divine, beautiful Sagittarius's. We have Two, two, two. Okay. All right. We've got some synchronicities with numbers, Sagittarius. So if twos and nines um, are significant, significant to you, um, then this message may be spe especially important to you. Okay. So Sagittarius, let's take a deeper dive into your crowning messages. Okay. So Sagittarius, your first crowning message is action. Then we have new direction and we have pause. Okay, so Sagittarius, for those of you that I am reading for um, this week, whether you are male or female, um, the divine feminine energy in this connection is coming through. Bear in mind, Sagittarius, we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energy within us. So if you are a male Sagittarius, it may be your female, uh, divine female energy, um, divine feminine energy that's coming through. And obviously, if you are a woman, um, your divine feminine energy is coming through. I feel as though the divine feminine in this connection, uh, whoever holds the divine feminine energy, I feel as if they put a pause on taking any action towards this connection. I almost feel as though the divine feminine energy in this connection almost took back their power. Um, there was something that perhaps was a little bit unbalanced and I feel as if the divine feminine had to go on a take a new direction but I feel as if it was a new direction to do with self okay self-love self-compassion self-worth um, and now I feel as though that that period has um, closed out okay and now I feel as though uh, this pause that the divine feminine was in in order to take a new direction to discover themselves to love self first now I feel as though is going to be ready to come forward to take action towards the divine masculine energy in this connection beautiful so I feel as if the divine feminine energy has definitely gone through um, a bit of dark night of the soul to be honest with you uh, Sagittarius a bit of shadow work has been done for your main card Sagittarius we have this energy imbues power superior confidence and enthusiasm with faith good fortune and authority that's why I feel as though um Sagittarius I feel as though uh truth uh 
I feel as if your spirit team was bringing you truth um, with quite a powerful message, uh, messages here. And I feel as though it was as if it struck you um, quite severely. That's why you had to put a pause on your emotions, taking action towards the divine masculine in this connection. I feel as though it almost feels a little bit like Cupid's arrow. OK, very, very powerful. And I feel as though it was to strengthen the confidence by faith um, of the divine feminine energy. Um, I almost feel as if the divine feminine energy, as they encountered their uh, divine counterpart, um, I feel as if it may have unbalanced them in a cert to a certain degree. Um, and they may have been giving too much to the connection, which I feel as though this week they are waking up to, um, I feel a bit of a transformational period, having done the dark night of the soul, some shadow work, almost taking back their power, okay? Um, for your crowning wisdom message, we have 1221. This is all around the heart chakra. Learn to provide your own happiness rather than relying on your twin flame to fulfill you, absolutely. I feel as though um, this kind of Cupid arrow hit the divine feminine in quite a powerful, powerful way. And it almost feels as though um, however the divine feminine approached the divine masculine in this connection, whether it feels as if they gave away their power, basically. Yeah. And I feel as though uh, for those that I'm reading for, you've already done the, uh, the, the dark night of the soul, the shadow work. I feel as if you're taking back your power. Um, and you I feel as if you're you're growing, to be honest with you, healing that heart space, um, that heart chakra. It's as though whoever you're connecting with triggered you to um, say or do things that basically surrendered your power to the connection. And I feel as though this is telling us about a part like the past. And I feel that the wisdom that's coming in is that the past energy of the divine feminine um, was to learn to love themselves, okay? And that is the new direction that I feel as if they walked on their own, putting a pause to their emotions, maybe um, not... Uh, taking too much action towards the divine masculine energy, focusing on self. And as a result, we have 999. Mastery of self-love has been obtained in preparation for the union. And that is why I feel as if the divine feminine energy, by taking back their power, um, they, they can now go forward and take the necessary action. And it was in preparation to properly come into union with their divine counterpart. And with 222, the earth chakra here, the necessary seeds have been planted on your journey. Remain patient as they begin to gestate. So I feel as though, um, Sagittarius, this is the, the, set, the, 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 the message that I'm getting. Uh, the divine feminine energy in this connection had an encounter or was in a relationship with the divine counterpart. I feel as if they gave away their power in some shape, form or another, either in their actions, giving too much, um, uh, uh, maybe being quite emotional with uh, what they were speaking. And I feel as though at some point in the relationship, um, they either received quite strong messages from their spirit team that they needed to pull back their energy, pause the connection, okay? Take a new direction to focus on self, to focus on self-love, to not be dependent on the... Um, reciprocal energy of the divine masculine it's as if they needed to love themselves first that has closed out and i feel as if the divine feminine has now taken back their power and the seeds that were planted in that first encounter or as the divine feminine the divine masculine if they were in, in in connection in union i feel as if um the these the seeds have already pl been planted the divine feminine energy needed to pull back their energy to work on self okay so now as this week 
the ball is going forward. I almost feel as if change is coming forward um, around this uh, connection. It's as if the divine feminine now knows that they can come off pause um, and take the action action towards the divine masculine because they have done the uh, shadow work, the self um, love work that they needed to do in order to kind of almost get their, their energy correct in preparation um, to come into proper union with whoever they have encountered or if you are already with this person um, to take you to that next level of that spiritual growth. Okay, beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, Sagittarius, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. It just helps to push this video out to more Sagittarius um, energies out there that would like a twin flame reading. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to go ahead and click that click that subscription button. And for those of you that are returning subscribers, welcome. Uh, thank you for coming back. And I hope that you do get a useful message out of uh, this week's uh, twin flame reading. Okay, so also Sagittarius, yep, yeah, thank you. Um, uh, I am now on Instagram. Uh, well, I've been on Instagram for a while, but I am now on TikTok as well. So please go ahead and join me um, on those social platforms. Um, I would really, really appreciate your support. Okay, Sagittarius, now let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Of week commencing Monday the 28th of June through to Sunday the 4th of July 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Sagittarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? Okay. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Right, let's see what is um, this new cycle I feel, Sagittarius, that you're going through. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me? Thank you. Wow, look at that release. Beautiful. My eight, thank you. We have return. What did I say? What did we say? What did we say? Beautiful. Something has been uh, released and now you guys are coming back into union. And then we have stuck. Yeah, look at that. The divine feminine. Look at that. And final card, we have the fall card. Okay, so Sagittarius, those of you that I am reading for this week, um, we are going to uh, look at... Uh, the divine masculine energy, whether they are male or female on the uh, left hand side and for the divine feminine energy, again, whether you are male or female, um, you uh, the energy is going to be read on the right hand side and right in the centre is your overall message, which I feel as though this connection was definitely stuck. OK, there was no growth. It was it entered. It was in a period of uh, lack. OK, no growth. It almost feels as if both of you were quite stuck in this connection, whether or not this is an existing relationship or an encounter is as if you couldn't move forward, you couldn't move backwards. Neither one of you really knew what to do. With the divine feminine, uh, with the divine masculine energy, sorry, I feel as though they may have seen that the divine feminine energy was taking a new direction. They pulled back their energy in some shape, form or another, putting a pause on this connection. And I feel as if the um, inner child of the divine masculine energy, OK, uh, I feel as though uh, they knew that they needed to release, release the divine feminine to do whatever work they needed to do, because whatever got you both stuck in the rut, I feel as if it was sent centered around the divine feminine energy and I feel as though as the divine feminine returns okay taking um this taking the energy of pull off 
pause towards the divine masculine i feel as if the divine masculine is holding out their hand to say i'm welcoming you back okay and i feel as if that is the action that the divine feminine is going to take towards the divine masculine so i feel as if the divine masculine almost um subconsciously or even consciously, but I just feel as if they knew that the direction that the Divine Feminine uh, had to go on in terms of self-healing, self-love, um, okay, um, it, it needed to be done. But because the seeds were already planted, I feel as if when the Divine Feminine comes back in, okay, returns to the Divine Masculine, uh, they're, they're going to be, they're going to welcome the Divine Feminine with open arms. On the Divine Feminine um, energy side, I feel as though this is just reiterating that the Divine Feminine had to take a new direction to come out of this stuck rut that they were in. They needed to grow um, from a place that was perhaps quite hardened. Um, I feel as if their heart chakra may have been cracked, um, damaged in some way. And I feel as if they are taking, or, or they've already taken a new path, okay? Uh, they've been illuminated and I feel like that's that arrow, Cupid's arrow, divine spirit universe, almost um striking um the divine feminine to say hold on a minute you need to do some self work um some self healing before you can come properly into union with the divine masculine energy i feel as though for the fall months which is um my autumn months here in the uk september october november that is where i feel that the divine feminine energy will be ready to take action towards the divine masculine energy okay they will be ready um they will have done the work in preparation for the union and i feel as if they're going to come towards or take action come off of pause around the four months of 2021 which is for me september october and and november of 2021 okay i feel as though this week um the message i feel as though this week the message that is coming through um, Sagittarius for you, whether or not you are resonating with the divine feminine energy or the divine masculine energy, I kind of almost feel as though the message is saying that the divine feminine is on the road of taking back their power. They don't need to worry because the seeds of this connection has already been planted. Um, it's it's safe to pull back energy, uh, do some self-work because I feel as if they are already on that journey. But it's not going to be until the, the latter part of this year when I feel as if the Divine Feminine will be really, really ready to come into union and take action towards the Divine Masculine. But um, whatever, whichever side that you resonate, I feel as if the Divine Masculine energy will welcome the Divine Feminine energy with open arms. Let's have a look at your clarifications wow okay so the first card that came out is the six of wands absolutely the divine masculine absolutely knows um that the divine feminine is their uh, counterpart okay i feel as if they feel victorious um i feel as if they know like i say with this young boy coming in it feels as if they connected with their inner child, knowing that releasing the divine feminine um, was what they needed to do. It was going to be victorious in preparation for the union of this connection. They know that there is no other person um, that they want to be with but their divine feminine energy person. And I feel with the chariot card, I feel as if um, their uh, 3D self does want to rush in almost... Um, be for the be there for the divine feminine because i feel as though um the divine feminine i don't feel it as though it's been a, a massive tower moment um but i feel it it was an awakening okay and i feel as if the divine masculine energy wants nothing more but to rush in and support comfort be there for the divine feminine but i feel as if they are going by faith okay that uh releasing the divine feminine while they do this inner work um is going to be victorious um for the divine feminine and ultimately victorious for this connection thank you my angels and spirit guides of the thank you and i feel as though 
I feel it. Well, the Three of Cups came out in reverse. So I feel as though um, the Divine Masculine, I feel, will uh, welcome the Divine Feminine with open arms. Um, I feel as if they do want to be around uh, the Divine Feminine right here, right now, in the present. But they know that they can't do that right now. OK, it's like these two cards. They want to rush in. They want to support the Divine Feminine as they go in this new direction around self-discovery, self-love, uh, taking back their power. Um, they want to be around the Divine Feminine, but they know that they can't, okay? But they are just saying, or I feel as if Divine Spirit saying, is that they will welcome uh, the Divine Feminine with open arms, okay? Thank you. And the next card is, yeah, I feel as if the Divine Masculine wants to put any kind of battles that... Um, the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine are having in this connection because don't forget the Divine Masculine, I feel as though is fully aware that they were in a rut, they were stuck, okay, there was no growth and I feel as if they want to put that behind them. It's really weird, um, Sagittarius, normally with twin flame readings um well for me as a reader anyway it always seems to be the divine feminine energy that seems to be leading the way um with regards to the twin flame journey in this scenario um for the sagittarius that i'm reading for it is actually the divine masculine energy that is almost being patient um fully awoken to what it is the divine feminine energy needs to do, but it feels as if they're not holding any kind of um, angst or um, being upset. It almost feels as if on a soul level, they just know that the divine feminine energy just needs to take some time out and go in a new direction of self-discovery, okay? And I feel as if they you know, they feel victorious, they know that they have met their divine counterpart, but I feel as though as you guys were perhaps stuck in a rut, there may have been words that were said, um, disagreements, um, so I feel on the 3D, they kind of knew um, that something wasn't quite right, and, and that's why I feel they just want it all behind them, they definitely want to be around the divine feminine, definitely to support them, but they know that they can't right now, okay? Wow, okay. So I feel as if as the divine feminine goes on their journey um to uh for self-discovery, doing self self um self-healing, um, shadow work, dark night of the soul. I feel as if with the four of cups in reverse, the divine masculine may themselves take a new direction in terms of just kind of getting on and doing what they've got to do. I feel as if that is um, the best action that they can take um, for themselves because we've got to remember that twin flames mirror each other. I feel as if they um, may be almost subconsciously operating so that they don't fall into the entrapment of being really dependent on their happiness um, by being in, in, in a connection, in union with the, with the divine feminine. So I feel as if they are trying real hard not to think about the divine feminine, they're releasing them, um, getting, I feel as if just kind of getting on with life, okay? Um, trying to, you know, uh, maybe grow in other areas um it feels as if they've got cl like clarity um i i just feel as if they know that their divine feminine energy person is going to return to them but in the interim they are just gonna try and block block them out uh, allow them release them to do what they've got to do um and then just welcome them when they come back and i feel as if that's going to be around the fall months of this year which is September, October and November. With the Ten of Cups, I feel as though the Divine Feminine Energy, as they go through this transformation of uh, understanding that they need to take a new direction around self-love, self-worth, self-kindness, self-compassion, I feel as if they are fully aware that the the connection was stuck and they perhaps needed to take back their power in order to have this happy ever after with their divine counterpart okay and i feel as if it's going to be successful the journey or the new direction that the divine feminine is taking i feel as if it's going to be extremely successful 
and it's going to bring them their happiness. Yeah, I feel as if the divine feminine energy um, may be a little bit scared. And I feel as if what they're scared of is to actually take a new direction and pause, you know, pause this connection. Um, I feel as if they have kind of already kind of done it okay but i feel that they know that there is more work um they may be fully aware that communication between um themselves and the divine masculine wasn't fantastic okay and i feel as if they're taking control they're taking control of taking back their power yeah with the emperor here um and i feel as if taking control as well of fear all right. It feels as if they are um, trying to approach this new journey with enthusiasm, with faith and praying, hoping, wishing that the good fortune will come towards them when they are ready to take action towards the divine masculine. I feel as if they are um, understanding that they need to uh, be their own authority, be their own person in preparation for union with um, the divine masculine it's like they're taking control taking back their power um they are scared not even going to mince my words here but hey who wouldn't be if you've met your divine counterpart and you know for the for the greater good of the connection that you need to step back i mean gosh it is scary because you just don't know who's going to swoop in are they going to connect with a karmic partner and when you're ready to come back to them um are they going to be available so totally get that um um, uh, Sagittarius if you are resonating with the divine feminine energy of this connection but I feel as if um, the overall message is don't worry because the divine masculine is going to welcome the divine feminine um, when they are ready to come back they know the divine masculine energy knows that this time apart is what is needed for the divine feminine um, to go on this new journey to take this new path uh, to do some shadow work and then we've got, yeah, I feel as if the divine feminine is going to feel a little bit unbalanced, really unsure. Yeah, definitely scared. OK, um, I feel as if they're going to be a little bit inconsistent with the action that they need to take uh, towards the divine masculine. I feel as though until the fall um, approaches, uh, I feel as if they they are. Do you know exactly what I just said? Um and I knew that it was an example, but it almost feels as if the message is actually, it was more than an example. I feel as if the divine feminine um, is feeling scared that if they do separate, even though they know it is, oh, wow, somebody's blowing bubbles. Oh my gosh. So do you know what? I've just seen bubbles passing my window, like soap bubbles. Um, Sagittarius, the divine feminine energy in this connection, don't worry, please don't worry. I just see the, these bubbles that are appearing um, whilst I'm doing your reading as blessings. This is a very, very blessed connection. This is really blessed. I feel as if um, any fear that the divine masculine may meet somebody else and may not be available to you when you are ready to take action towards them, um, don't worry about it. The blessing of this connection is actually you taking a new direction and working on self. Yes, you're going to be scared. Yes, you're going to feel unbalanced. Yes, you're going to feel as if, do I go towards my divine um, masculine energy? That you're going to kind of like be a little bit to and fro for a hot minute. Um, and I feel as if just try and refrain from that. Keep yourself grounded. It is it is part and parcel of the learning, of the growth, of you coming unstuck, okay? Whether, Sagittarius, this is you resonating for the divine feminine energy, uh, for the uh, divine masculine energy of the Sagittarius, um, I feel as if just know that all is going to be well in this connection, um, that the divine feminine energy um, is going to be feeling unbalanced um they may uh it's not as if the divine uh, feminine energy is not going to be thinking of the divine masculine absolutely they will be they're going to be really kind of um i almost feel as if until the run-up of the fall uh divine masculine energy you may get the odd call or the odd message this is this inconsistency this is the divine feminine feeling really unbalanced almost checking in is their divine counterpart um 
yet have they met somebody else like gauging what's kind of going on in their life so i feel as if um divine masculine energies even though you're trying not to think about um the divine feminine just be gentle just be kind because they they will be go they will be going through a little bit of apprehension feeling really balanced but just know the blessing of this connection is for the divine feminine to take this new direction and um, discover self-love or uh, work on self-love beautiful let's have a look and see what you both would like to say to each other um on the astral plane my angels and spirit guides oh thank you okay the first card that fell out um, I am afraid to contact you. Okay, so I feel as though uh, as the divine masculine energy, uh, and we said that, they want to rush in, they want to be around um, the divine feminine to support them, to help them along the way, but they also know that um, poor communication or arguments or disagreements or not being in alignment, those battles need to go behind you because it had you both really stuck in the rut. I feel as if... Um, I feel as if the divine masculine is letting the divine feminine know on the astral plane, look, you know, I want to be around you. I want to celebrate this connection that we have. Um, but I know that you have to go on this new journey for your own self good. Um, and in a certain degree, it feels as if I'm afraid to contact you because I don't want to, um, I, it almost feels as if they don't want to um, unbalance the divine feminine. It's like the divine feminine needs to do this journey on their own, okay? This self-love, which I feel that they will master it. Uh, I feel as if they're already in this process, okay? This transformation is happening, but there's more work to be done. And I feel as if the divine feminine is not going to be ready to take action towards the divine masculine until the latter part of the year. And the divine masculine, I feel as if knows that, okay? And I feel as if they do want to contact the divine feminine, but they know that if they do, it could almost um, hinder the growth of the direction that the divine feminine energy needs to take at this time. And then we have, I hope that you can forgive me one day. So do you remember I was saying that the divine masculine is going to stop thinking, wishing, hoping, um, I feel as if they are going to genuinely try and cut out the divine feminine, really release the divine feminine um, so that um, they can do the work that needs to. So divine feminine energies, if you don't hear from your divine masculine energy person, don't worry about it. They do want to be around you. They want to support you. You are they, um, the, the one that they want to be with. But I feel as if they understand um, that the journey that the Divine Feminine is on basically outweighs uh, almost like the connection because without the journey that the Divine Feminine has to go on, they really can't properly come back into union. And I feel on the astral plane, they're asking for the forgiveness of the Divine Feminine for not reaching out, for not supporting them. They may even ignore your calls, um, divine energy, um, divine feminine energy uh, people uh, in this connection. I feel as though, um, because they know that they need to allow the divine feminine to do this self-work, worth to do this self-work um, around self-love, all right? So I feel as if, like I say, it is the divine masculine energy in this connection, Sagittarius, that is um, actually probably leading the way, okay? And for the divine feminine energy side, we have, we both know I am not the one for you. I almost feel as if that is self-doubt, okay? Uh, whilst the divine feminine takes this new journey um, of uh, self-love, mastering that, um, uh, learning to be happy without the divine masculine in preparation for them to come together. I almost feel as if, um, it almost feels like a bit of a backlash or a bit of a, a little bit of a bite, um, towards the divine masculine. I can almost picture the two energies having a conversation on the 5D where the divine masculine is kind of saying to the divine feminine, look, I'm really, really sorry that I've not been in touch or you're not feeling my vibration. Um, it's just that I knew that you needed to do this because the relationship was real stuck, okay? 
and it almost feels as if the divine feminine as they are going through this journey um almost is just almost going to you know sarcastically just kind of throw out those words we both know i'm not the one for you and i feel as if that is a little bit of attention seeking um sagittarius um not in a not in a horrible way but you remember we've got that knight of wands it feels as if the divine feminine is almost kind of a, a little bit unsure like you know they may want to reach out actually in the 3d towards the uh divine masculine because i feel as if they they are scared that someone else is going to come in and sweep up their you know sweep away their divine masculine uh, energy person so it feels as if um them kind of coming on a soul level we both know i'm not the one for you it almost feels as if that is what they need to heal OK, it's this mastery of self-love. It's like they're looking for affirmation from the divine masculine that they will be waiting for them. Um, and I feel as if the divine feminine, uh, the message to you is, is that they they are that they're going to be there. OK, um, I feel as if the focus right now is a new journey um, to discover uh, self-love um, and not be dependent on the uh, union of, of of your divine counterpart and one more thank you and we have I know I was a distraction from your pain okay so I feel as though uh, whatever um, kicked off between the divine masculine and the divine feminine that had them uh, both uh, stuck in the rut uh, I feel as though it it may have been quite painful for the divine masculine they may have tried to pull away their energy numerous times um possibly unconsciously trying to trigger uh, the divine feminine to take a new path of self-love self-discovery um, and I feel as though again I've just got this knight of wands coming in here you know it feels as if the divine feminine just didn't know which way to go um you know one minute coming towards the divine masculine next minute you know they pull away um and i feel as if it was quite painful for the divine masculine energy and they're just saying that on on the astral plane that they know that that was a distraction so do you know why i feel this message is coming up for you now sagittarius this feels as if it has been an ongoing cycle okay that the both of you have gone through um lifetime after lifetime this lifetime it feels as if it's actually going to follow through that the divine feminine is actually going to put a pause on this relationship and follow through to do the self-work and the self-love that is required in readiness for you both to come into union uh, properly okay let's have a look and see what the advice for the divine masculine energy is my angels and thank you so we have choose to leave the dark way for the way of life. Choose to leave the dark way for the way of light. Absolutely. So I feel as if the divine masculine, even though they may um, have gone through a lot of pain, feeling stuck, you know, it almost feels a little bit of bittersweet. Um, you know, they know that the divine feminine energy is their person, but whatever stuck in a rut, energy was around the both of you it was almost as if it, it brought them pain they want to definitely put it behind them and I feel as if the advice is is to um almost come out of that energy that low vibrational energy because I feel with the way that the divine masculine is feeling at the moment you know a being afraid to contact the divine feminine because it may give out the wrong message um, and also asking for the divine feminine's um, forgiveness for almost cutting them out I feel yeah um, I feel as if divine spirit universe is saying that um this has to be done in order for the light to really be shone in a whole new direction that um, that you both are going towards in this union. So it almost feels as if divine feminine energies, sorry to say it, but the divine masculine energy kind of cutting you off to allow you to have no choice but to take a new direction around self-love 
is what they, it almost is like being cruel to be kind because i feel as if this union is going to come back together okay around the latter part of the year around the fall months um but it's like um this is the painful part this is the painful part um and i feel as if it's going to be painful for both of you but the divine masculine is absolutely doing the right thing um they need to come out of this darkness they need for both of you to come out of this darkness in order for the light to shine through and it means as if there needs to be separation at this time let's have a look and see what the advice for the divine feminine is my angels and spirit thank you okay so we've got two messages that have come in for the divine feminine so the first is let's look within for a place of rest your temple of the heart and do you know what i feel as if the advice is is self work is self love um you need the divine feminine energy needs to go within and feel that happiness feel that um master self love um around their heart space because that is possibly what needs healing so it almost feels as if they need to be at peace within their own self within their own heart chakra because that is their temple that is the central point where um they can give um equally okay um taking back their power feeling quite comfortable in their heart space not dependent on their divine masculine um the heart is where the home is and that is the temple of the divine feminine and i feel as if that is what your spirit team or the spirit team of the divine feminine is coming in to say your heart is where the home is um by putting this connection on pause, doing the self-work is only going to help you um, grow as an individual, but also uh, help grow the connection. And then we've got, there is nothing better that you can give to a person than to be present with them. Absolutely. And I feel as though as the divine feminine goes on this journey of self-love, when they come back, um, the divine masculine is going to welcome them with open arms. And I feel as though they, it almost feels as if they are going to be quite new. Their energy is going to be quite different. The divine feminine energy is going to be quite different as they come back into union. And I feel as if divine spirit universe is saying that the best present that you can give the divine masculine is to basically be your authentic self, be at peace in your heart chakra, uh, master self-love, take back your power, know that you are okay through the ups and downs of this twin flame journey because guess what there's going to be a heck more um so it almost feels as if you need to be comfortable the divine feminine energy needs to be comfortable in their own space in their own heart have their own happiness um because that is the greatest gift that um they can bring to the divine masculine to be present to be um uh, knowing their worth, to take back their power, uh, know that they are at peace in their heart. So when you have those up and downs that we all do have in the 3D in any relationship, it almost feels as if it won't phase the divine feminine because you know what? They're quite comfortable in their heart space. They're not dependent on um, the divine masculine energy for their happiness beautiful profound message for you Sagittarius I'm going to leave that there if it does resonate please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time Sagittarius's I'm sending you loads and loads of love peace and light take care bye bye